Well, first off, you know, as always, I appreciate you guys coming up to take the time to and do your job and report and the news out to the people. And, uh, and I'll say, as we get started, it's been a great job for me, really the best job that I could ever hope to have, and definitely the best job that I ever have had, and it's been a pleasure and an opportunity over the last three and a half years to serve you all and serve the people of the city of La Crosse and uh, the people that I've met and being able to work with you guys has been an experience really that uh, I don't know that I'll ever have again at any point in my life. Um, and, but after real careful consideration and talking with family and friends and uh, thinking on this, this is something that I've thought about really since the, the day that I got elected uh, last spring and obviously as the days go by and come closer to the end of the term is something that I think about need to be made and uh, people need to know, should know, so that way they can uh, be prepared and uh, prepare to be a candidate and uh, ultimately prepare to uh, run for an election and uh, again, elect a man for the city of La Crosse. So again, at this point, uh, after careful consideration and discussion with family and friends and uh, constituents and supporters, I have decided that I will not seek re-election to a second term in this office uh, at this point. Uh, I will uh, be done in, in April uh, serving in the mayor's office uh, for this term. So uh, I appreciated the opportunity to serve. It's been a, again, a great experience working with you all. Uh, and after consideration and really looking most uh, definitely at what's best for the, the community in the city of La Crosse. And I started at a really young age and there's a, a lot of ups and downs to that. Um, but really taking the interest and the best interest of the community in mind at this point I feel that it is best uh, for someone else to serve in the mayor's office over the next four years uh, other than myself. And I will continue to do all that I can uh, to support the city in any uh, shape and fashion that I can. I know there's a lot of elected officials in the city of La Crosse, past elected officials that have helped me uh, through my term in office, and uh, I certainly will be available to help you know, anyone and offer any small amount of support that I can uh, to the community, to the city of La Crosse, to any elected officials. And, uh, La Crosse will always be my home no matter where I go or where life takes me. Uh, this will be my home, and I'll be around, and I'll be around to you know, help in whatever fashion I can. Uh, but again, at this point, uh, I do feel that it's best for the city that someone else takes the reins for the next four years. And uh, that I fade away a little bit and uh, let some other people uh, take their responsibility and uh, do all that I can in a, a little bit quieter of a fashion than I have in the past four years. So again, that, it's been a pleasure and opportunity to serve with you all over the last four years and work with you all. And uh, maybe at some point in the future, uh, maybe that will come to pass again. But at this point, for the next four years, I believe that this uh, community is better off having someone other than myself uh, serve in the mayor's office for the next four years. For that, if anyone has any questions, I'd be more than happy to answer them. Mayor, do you, are there specific factors that have led to this decision? Well, again, as I said, it's something I thought about you know, every day really since being elected uh, in April of 2009. Uh, but uh, again, I was elected at a really young age. At, and overall, uh, I think we're heading in the right direction uh, in, in the community. I think the council is, uh, you know, coming around to realize what the community wants. And I think, I think that the council is heading in the right direction, most specifically. And you know, a lot of the incumbents on the council and myself have uh, you know, had differences. And uh, I really feel that you know, over the next four years, uh, with the council, you know, being in the position that they're in now. Uh, working with someone else in the mayor's office, uh, I think more progress will be made, really, and more will get done. I think uh, it will provide the opportunity for a fresh start, uh, new relationships between the council and a newly elected mayor, and, uh, and new ideas. And over the past four years, we've held a very strong course on keeping spending in check. Uh, that's really been a, a high priority, and probably the high priority. And, uh, you know, I campaigned on that. I told the people that that, you know, is and should be the highest priority for the community. And uh, we made it that high priority, and so it's got us here. Uh, but at this point, you know, I, 
do feel that you know, there are other challenges facing the city, and uh, I think that the council is uh, you know, willing and open to address those challenges. And I think over the past four years, we've again had that hard course that we've needed to really keeping spending in check. And you know, in order to I suppose broaden the scope a little bit towards you know addressing other things in the community uh, along with that. You know, goal that we've had over the past four years. I, I think, I think it's best for the community to you know, have some fresh faces in here, a fresh face in the mayor's office. Uh, I'm sure there will be some, uh, you know, new faces on the council after the election. And uh, I think at that point, uh, I think the community will be best served again with just uh, some new blood in this office and uh, working with some new blood on the council. Mayor, what issues do you think need to be addressed, and is there a candidate that you think could potentially fulfill them? Well, I'm not going to pick out any individual candidate. Uh, you know, there are any number of them in our community right now, and uh, you know, before I stepped into the race, I don't think anyone really anticipated, uh, you know, a 24-year-old guy from the north side stepping up in 2009 and you know being elected by the people of this office. So, uh, for me to you know, speculate on you know, one person or, uh, you know, tap anyone on the shoulder that I think is going to be the person for the job. That's really for the community to decide and, you know, that candidate who decides to step up in the community. So uh, I won't say that, but, you know, I will say, you know, addressing, you know, more issues uh, that have come up over the past four years, but, you know, we haven't been able to make it as high a priority because, uh, you know, we've had really other priorities uh, that have been established and, you know, really keeping that spending in check, I think, is a very vital component uh, you know, of really our government operations here, and we've been able to do that over the past four years. And uh, you know, I want over the next four years for the community, uh, you know, to focus on that as well as other things. And I think uh, doing that, there's probably another candidate out there that uh, can help us do that a little bit better. What do you plan to do with your time? Future. Well, right now, uh, fade out of the public office for a little bit. Uh, you know, go back and work a normal job, and you know, make sure that I keep in touch. And that, that, that's another thing that you know, weighed very heavily on my decision. Is you know, it's very easy, I think, in a public office to lose touch with the everyday person working in our community. And again, starting at a very young age, I think you know, that's something that I need to be very cautious of, and something that I am very cautious of. And most of the public officials that I have esteemed have done a very good job, have worked a, a full career in somewhere other than government and other, other than an elected position. And uh, that certainly weighed very heavily on my decision. Um, you know, I think there's something to be said for working you know, a normal job like you know, most of the people in our community, in our state, in our country, and you know, really the whole globe, uh, and all those people do. And, for an elected person, especially at a very young age, uh, to continue on in office, I think it would be a very easy thing uh, to lose touch with that, you know, everyday walk of life, and that's something that you know, I'm very sensitive to and uh, very cautious about, and that, you know, nothing that I want to lose. I guess the question would be, uh, being a young mayor, would you suggest uh, another candidate to elect another young mayor? Do you think that would be a wise choice for the? Well, again, that's going to be for the community to decide, and that, 